So, guten Abend allerseits. Let's open with a prayer. Lasst uns mit Gebet anfangen. Dear Father in heaven, Lieber Vater im Himmel, thank you that, uh, we are approaching the Sabbath now. danke, dass wir den Sabbat jetzt annähern. And we ask you to help us now to lay aside all the worldly cares and troubles. Und wir bitten, dass du uns hilfst, dass wir alle weltliche Sorgen und Trübsal beiseite legen können. And that you would be able now to focus upon your word. Und dass wir ganz und gar jetzt auf dein Wort fokussieren. And that you can speak to us through your word. Und dass du zu uns durch dein Wort sprechen. Kannst. And that you would give us uh, meat for the beginning of the Sabbath. Und dass du uns Speise geben mögest zum Anfang des Sabbats. Lord, please uh, have mercy upon our failures of the past week. Bitte erbarme dich unsere, unsere, ähm, Fehler. unsere Fehler von letzter Woche. And we ask you that you please <coughs> would now convict each one of us that we would use the Sabbath in close self-examination and confession of sins. Ich bitte, dass du uns hilfst, dass wir die Sabbat benutzen, benutzen um uns ganz nah ähm, zu betrachten und in äh, Bekenntnis von Sünden. And we ask and pray all these things in Jesus' name. Und wir bitten und beten all dies in Jesu Namen. Amen. Amen. Okay. So... The last two um, studies we made on Daniel 1 and 2. So, die letzte zwei Studien, die wir gemacht haben, um, war über Daniel 1 und Daniel 2. And this evening we want to look at Daniel 3. Und heute Abend wollen wir Daniel 3 anschauen. Okay, so let's turn to our Bibles to Daniel 3. So, lasst uns in unseren Bibeln zu Daniel 3 gehen. I think yes, we are quite familiar with this chapter. We don't need to read it necessarily at the beginning now. Und wir sind alle vertraut mit diesem Kapitel. Also wir werden das nicht <coughs> zum Anfang durchlesen. But um, we want to place it now on the line as we did with chapters one and two. Wir wollen das auf die Linie legen, so wie wir das mit Kapiteln 1 und 2 gemacht haben. Okay, and yesterday when we looked at chapter two. Und gestern, als wir Kapitel 2 anschauten, uh, we saw that it also started at the Sunday law. Wir haben gesehen, dass auch das am Sonntagsgesetz angefangen And hat. When Nebuchadnezzar had this dream, wo Nebuchadnezzar diese Traum hatte, like Pharaoh had, had his dream, genauso wie Pharao seinen Traum hatte. And he then called his magicians, and they couldn't answer him for three times. Und er hat seine Zauberer zu sich gerufen, und sie konnten keine Antwort zu so die Leute um dieses Träumes dreimal geben können. And then he issued this death decree. Dann hat er diesen Todesdekret erlassen. And Daniel went in before the king the first time. Daniel ging vor dem König zum ersten Mal. And basically was asking for time. Und hat um Zeit gebeten. In order that he could then ask or could then pray and ask God to give the revelation. So dass er beten konnte und Gott bitten konnte, ihm die Offenbarung zu geben. And this is also what then happened. Das ist auch was geschehen ist. And we understand this is the time where you also will pray or cry day and night for deliverance, right? Wir wissen, dass dies auch der Zeit ist, wo du rufen oder beten wirst Tag und Nacht für Befreiung. Because we could see basically that the death decree, and they want to bring it now against you. Wir können sehen, dass der Tod ist dekret. Sie wollen das gegen dich anbringen. But Will they immediately execute it against you? Aber werden sie das sofort gegen dich anbringen? No, because we saw uh, they give you time if ja. you ask. Wir haben gesehen, dass die dir Zeit geben, wenn du danach bittest. Okay. And then at the end you receive the revelation. Und am Ende erhältst du die Offenbarung. And what was the revelation in Daniel 2? Und in Daniel 2, was war die Offenbarung? Secret, Secret things, right? Die geheime Sachen. So, and this was also, as we could see then, the seven thunders. So, wie wir auch sehen können, dies war auch die sieben Donner. Okay, and this is when you give this prediction then about what will happen to the king. 
Und das ist, wenn du hier diese Vorhersage geben würdest, das, was dem König geschehen wird. Because how was Joseph called when he gave the prediction? Denn wie war Joseph gerufen, als er die Vorhersage gab? Und wie war er genannt, Verzeihung? Yes. Also Safnaf Paneer. Which is the revealer of secrets. Und das bedeutet der Deuter von Geheimnissen. Okay. And we also saw in the Revelation chapter 1. Wir haben auch in Offenbarung Kapitel 1 gesehen. Uh, that it's a revelation about what is shortly to come to pass, right? Es ist eben eine Offenbarung ist über das, was in Kürze geschehen wird. And Joseph said, what God is about to do, he showed unto Pharaoh. Und Joseph hat auch gesagt, das, was der Herr in Kürze tun wird, das ist das, was er dem Pharaoh zeigt. Okay, so therefore then he gives this prediction here, it will come to pass it. So, er gibt diese Vorhersage und hier wird es zur Mitternacht geschehen. Alright, so now let's go to Daniel 3. Gehen wir jetzt zu Daniel 3. And let's read verses, yeah, let's begin in verse 1. Und fangen wir in Vers 1 an. It says, Nebuchadnezzar, the king, made an image of gold, whose height was three score cubits, And the breadth of six cubits, he set it up in the plain of Jura, in the province of Babylon. Okay, so this is obviously the Sunday, right? So this is obviously the Sunday. Just let's read this quote uh, that confirms this. Es gibt da ein Zitat in dem Livestream und das bestätigt das. 14 MR 91.3. 14 MR 91.3. It says, an idol Sabbath has been set up, as the golden image was set up in the plains of Dura. And as Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, issued a decree that all who would not bow down and worship this image should be killed, so a proclamation will be made that all who will not reverence the Sunday institution will be punished with imprisonment and death. Thus the Sabbath of the Lord is trampled underfoot. But the Lord has declared, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and write grievousness which they have prescribed. Okay, so here we can see it's a Sunday law crisis. So here can we see it's a Sunday law crisis. Alright, so, <coughs> so therefore the image is set up. So here is the standbild aufgerichtet. And let's continue. Wissen wir weiter? Verse 2. Vers 2. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king sent to the gather together the princes, the governors, and the captains, the judges, the treasurers, the counselors, the sheriffs, and all the rulers of the provinces to come to the dedication of the image which Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. Then the princes, the governors, and the captains, the judges, the treasurers, the counselors, the sheriffs, And all the rulers of the provinces were gathered together unto the dedication of the image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. And they stood before the image that Nebuchadnezzar had set up. Then a herald cried aloud, To you it is commanded, O people, nations, and languages, that at what time ye hear the sound of the cornet, the, flu uh, the flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, dulcimer, and all kinds of music, ye fall down and worship, the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king hath set up. And whoso falleth not down and worshippeth, the same shall the same hour shall the same hour be cast into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. Okay. So what kind of message is this here? So was für ein Botschaft is this here? So the law that allows them to put you to death Yes, okay. Yeah, okay, they warn but... yes. okay, but here in verse um, four. Aber hier in Vers 4. It says, Then an herald cried aloud to you, it is commanded for people, nations, and languages. Yes, a worldwide message. Weltweit. Okay, so it's a worldwide message that they send forth that everybody has to bow down. It's a worldwide Botschaft, die sie herausgeben, wo jeder sich dazu Because niederbeugen. Back then, Babylon, they were basically conquered almost the whole known world. Weil okay. Damals Babylon hat das also fast das ganze Be 
Bekannte. damalige bekannte Welt erobert. Yeah. So there were many different nations in their own realm, their own kingdom. Es gab viele Nationen innerhalb ihrem eigenen Reiches. Okay, so just keep your finger here. Let's go to Revelation chapter 13. So halte den Platz hier und geht zu Offenbarung 13. Wow, so never, yes? you never mentioned this point. You never mentioned it much, but the fact that it was 60 cubits. Also die Tatsache, dass das 60 Ellen hoch war. Also wenn du das 21, also so 21 Zoll multipliziert, das ist auch 1260. Yeah, in this case it would be correct. But literally it wasn't. What's got nothing to do with it? What's got to do with anything? We're speaking with prophecy here. No, no, no. You need to then justify to apply this 21 cubit to it. Why not? It's the Bible. We're using the Bible. The Bible says the cubit is 21 inches. Yes, okay. That's that's true. I have no problem with that. I mean, if we, if we go to the flying roll, which is marking the same, it's the punishment that comes. No, no, it's from. just because it, with a flying roll, you literally had a 21 cubit back then for, for the Temple of Solomon. You just right? go by what the Bible says. What, what's, what's the problem? No, no, I mean, you can say, okay, if you want to apply it prophetically, then. You can but, but that's what we're doing. Do that. I don't care what size it was literally. That's got no bearing on anything. I'm talking about. No, it's just that you you need to explain it then, because you cannot just say it was a 21 cubit when it was not, literally. Why not? No, historically it wasn't. That's my point. So, but when you now apply it prophetically, then I would agree that it's not written there for. Let's say, no. No use, let's say it like this. Okay. I don't understand. Why, why does it not say it says the height is three square cubits? Yes, but Sister White says how high it was. So she didn't take the 21 cubit in her calculation. Okay. She used, I don't know what kind of cubit, but it was not a 21 cubit. I don't think you can fit any cubit into what she said, just an obscure number. But it's marked in the Bible for a reason, that's the point I'm making. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely marked there yeah, for a reason. And I would agree when you apply it prophetically, this would illustrate the 1260 because it's the 1260 prophetically. Yeah. I just want to make the point that historically it was not a 21 cubit. That's my only point. I don't think it was any cubit, that's what I'm saying. Pull up the place where Sister White says it. Mm, I don't know if I have it here, but let me just look. Maybe that's this one. Literal application has no bearing on it. It's about really what the Bible is. Okay. <coughs> one. I don't know. I need to look it up. Where does but I definitely looked it up one time. I will just post it later. Also, ich werde das diesen Zitat, die Suche später posten dazu. Okay. So, anyways, we saw that the message is going to all nations, kingdoms, or all people, nations, and languages. So, wir haben gesehen, dass diese Botschaft zu alle Völker, Nationen und Sprachen ergehen soll. And let's turn now to. Keep your finger here. Let's go to Revelation chapter 13. Und wir wollen zu Offenbarung 13 gehen, aber halte den Platz. Dann Daniel 3. Let's read verse 11 and 12. Die Verse 11 und 12 von 
It says, And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. When does the United States speak as a dragon? On the Sunday. Right? And he ex exercises all the power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth and them which dwell in to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. So deadly wound is healed at the Sunday law, right? So which nation is it therefore that will cause the whole earth to worship now the first beast? So welche Nation ist es, der verursachen wird, dass die ganze Welt diese erste Tier anbietet? The United States. In the USA. So clearly, right? So therefore, which nation is it here in Daniel chapter 3 then? So welche Nation ist das hier in Daniel 3? United States. In the USA. Right? So they now command everybody in this world to bow down. Sie befehlen jeder in dieser Welt, sich niederzubeugen. Okay. So let's go back to Daniel 3. So gehen wir zurück zu Daniel 3. And what does Sister, Sister White say about every false religion? Und was sagt Ellen White über jede falsche Religion? What do they first do? Was tun sie zuerst? Yes, they first deceive. Sie verführen zuerst. Yes. And if it doesn't work, und wenn das nicht funktioniert, then they put you to death. Okay. Dann verfolgen sie dich oder die tun, geben dir den Tod. Okay, and this is also what Nebuchadnezzar tries here to do. Uh, he's trying to first deceive you, so the music is a deception. Right? Das ist, was hier Nebuchadnezzar versucht zu tun. Zu tun. Er versucht dich zuerst zu verführen, aber diese Musik ist eben Verführung. Where do we see this? Und wo können wir die sehen? Music is a deception. Wo Musik eine Verführung wäre. Yes. Okay. Wenn Tyros singt wie eine Verführung. Yes. So keep your finger on Daniel. Let's go to Daniel. Isaiah 23. So halte den Platz hier weiterhin in Daniel und gehen wir zu Jesaja 23. Let's read this, this is 15 to 17. Wir lesen die Verse 15 bis 17. Isaiah 23, 15 bis 17. It says, And it shall come to pass in that day that Tyre shall be forgotten seventy years, according to the days of one king. After the end of seventy years shall Tyre sing as an harlot. So she will do what? She will sing. Was tun? Sie wird singen. Take an harp, go about the city, thou harlot, that has been forgotten. Make sweet melody, sing many songs, that thou mayest be remembered. And it shall come to pass, after the end of seventy years, that the Lord will visit her, and she shall return to her higher, and shall commit fornication with all the kingdoms of the world upon the face of the earth. So when Tyre is forgotten, she will start singing. Right. So, wenn Tyros vergessen wird, sie wird anfangen zu singen. In order to accomplish what? <coughs> um was zu herbeiführen oder bewirken. Yeah, to again deceive the kings, yes. right, that they, she, she can control them again. Um wieder die Könige zu verführen, dass sie ein weiteres Mal kontrollieren kann. Okay. So, <coughs> therefore we can see that uh, it's, music is a deception. Deswegen können wir sehen, dass Musik eine Verführung ist. Also in the story of Phineas, Auch in der Geschichte von Phineas. How was this woman called that he speared through? So, wie hieß diese Frau, die er durchbohrte? Uh, let's maybe turn there. Gehen wir da hin. I think it's Numbers um, 20 something. Das ist 4. Mose 20 um den Dreh. No, a little bit later. 25. 25 ist das. And let's read verses 14 to 15. Wir lesen die Verse 14 und 15. Okay. Uh, Scott, you want to read those? Because then I can look up. Now the name of the Israelite that was slain, even that was slain with the Midianite, Midianitish woman, was Zimri, the son of Zalu, a prince of a chief house among the Simeonites. And the name of the Midianitish woman that was slain was Cosby, the daughter of Zur, 
he was head over a people and of a chief house in Midian. Yes. Okay. So this woman was named Cosby. So there's a Frau, die hieß uh, Cosby. And when you look it up, what it means, it means lie, basically, or false. Wenn du das nachschaust, was dieser Name bedeutet, es heißt Lüge oder falsch. And Zimri Und Zimri means musical. Okay. Heißt musikalisch. Okay. And verse 14. Ah, yes, yes, yes. So, it was basically, both together, was false music. Okay. Beide zusammen ist das falsches Musik. Oder lying music. Oder lügendes, betrügerisches Musik. And who was Satan when he fell down from heaven? Und wer war Satan, als er von Himmel fiel? Yes. Uh, Ezekiel 28, let's just turn there. Lobpreisleiter im Himmel, also Ezekiel 28. It says, Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God, every precious stone was thy covering, the sardius, topaz, and diamond, the beryl, the onyx, and the jasper, the sapphire, the emerald, and the carbuncle, and gold. The workmanship of thy tablets and of thy pipes was prepared in thee in the day that thou was created. So, he had these tablets and pipes. So I had these, uh, I don't know what a tablet is. Do you mind Deutsch? What's that? Tablets, yes. Tablets, I don't know. 28, verse 13. Some musical instrument. Yes. 28, verse 13. End of this verse. Yeah, end of this verse is verse 13. Like a timbrel, it says. Tamborino and flute. Tamborino and okay. Yes. Okay. So here we can see he, Satan is connected with the music. Yes. Okay. So here can we see that Satan in verbindung war mit Musik. And it says he deceiveth the whole earth, right? It says that he verführeth the whole earth. Okay. So that's his singing, his music. Sein Gesang, sein Musik. Okay. So now let's go back to Daniel 3. So gehen wir zurück zu Daniel 3. Daniel 3 und Vers 7. So, but also in verse 6, yeah, it says, And whoso falleth not down and worshipeth, sh worshipeth shall the same hour be cast into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. Also auch Vers 6 haben wir gelesen. So what can we see already? So was können wir bereits sehen? And when they pass the Sunday law, what do they also connect with it? Wenn sie den Sonntagsgesetz erlassen, was ist damit in Verbindung? Death decree. Der Todesdekret. Okay, so they issue already a death decree right at the beginning. So sie erlassen ein Todesdekret gleich am Anfang. But it's not coming against you immediately because you first need to break the law. Right? Aber es wird nicht sofort gegen dich gebracht, weil du musst zuerst das Gesetz brechen. And then you also need to be reported. Und dann musst du auch dafür gemeldet werden. And then they will apply it against you. Und dann werden sie es gegen dich bringen. Okay, so let's see. Lass uns schauen. Verse eight. Verse seven and eight. Seven and eight. Therefore, at the time when all the people heard the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, and all kinds of music, all the people, the nations, and the languages fell down and worshipped the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. <coughs> Wherefore, at that time, certain Chaldeans came near and accused the Jews. Okay, so here what can we see? Was können wir hier sehen? Vers 8, 7 und 8. Everybody falls down, right? Jeder beugt sich nieder. And what does it say about the beast? Und was sagt es über das Tier? The whole world. The whole world will wander after the beast, right? Die ganze Welt wird dem Tier nachgehen. Okay, but who not? Aber wer nicht? Okay, just keep your finger here, let's go to Revelation 13. So, halte den Platz hier und geht zur Offenbarung 13. And verse 8. 
this up. It says, And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. So what is the only option for you to escape this deception? So what is the only way for you to escape this deception? Your name written in the book. Yes, you need to, yes. And how, how is your name written in the book? Dein Name muss im himmlischen Buch niedergeschrieben sein. Und wie, wie kommt das zustande? Yes. Okay. Wenn du getauft wirst. And when you have the new birth experience. Wenn du diese Neugeburt yeah. Erfahrung hast. Then your name will be written in the book of life. Dann okay. wird dein Name im Buch des Lebens geschrieben. So you can see, without the new birth, you will never pass this test. Okay. Du kannst sehen, ohne dem Neugeburt wirst du diesen Test nie bestehen können. Okay. So, now... Let's go back. So, so, so Daniel. And for us, yeah, we, we have the first birth at the civil Sunday law, and then we need to maintain it up to the Sunday law. So for us, we have the civil, the the first birth by the civil Sonntags gesetz, and we must it aufrecht bewahren bis zum Sonntags gesetz. Because our names need to be written in the Lamb's Book of Life in order that we can endure the Sunday law test. Then our names must be in the Lamb's Book of Life niedergeschrieben sein, so that we can Sonntags gesetz ausharren oder aushalten können, treu aushalten können. Okay. So, verse 8, we saw that they now get accused. So, Vers 8 haben wir gesehen, dass sie angeklagt werden. And what was the, the peril to them? We looked at this yesterday. Und so, was ist das eine Parallel? Das hatten wir gestern angeschaut. Esther, right? Okay. What did you say? Sir? Esther. Also, es ist eine Parallel zu Esther. And so, keep your finger here. Let's remind ourselves quickly. Esther, chapter 3. So, halte den Platz hier weiterhin. Und zur Erinnerung gehen wir zu Esther, Kapitel 3. Esther, Kapitel 3. Because we need to bring always all stories together, right? Denn wir müssen all diese Geschichten zusammenbringen. Amen. Because in Daniel 3, it seems to be like uh, they set up the image and immediately uh, they, they get reported. Okay. Then in Daniel 3, sie, es scheint, als wenn sie diese um, Standbild auflichten und werden sofort gemeldet. Uh, but when we bring in the story of Esther 3 to, into play, then we can see that there's a time between the, when they set it up and when they get reported. Aber wenn wir die Geschichte von Esther 3 dazu bringen, <coughs> können wir sehen, es gibt da eine Zeit zwischen wo sie das Standbild aufrichten, bis zu dem Punkt, wo sie gemeldet werden. Okay, let's read verse 1 to 5. Wir lesen in Esther 3, die Verse 1 bis 5. After these things did King Ahasuerus promote Haman, the son of Hamadatha, the Agagite, and advanced him and set his seat above all the princes that were with him. And all the king's servants that were in the king's gate bowed and reverenced Haman, for the king had so commanded concerning him. But Mordecai bowed not, nor did him reverence. Then the king's servants, which were in the king's gate, said unto Mordecai, Why transgressest thou the king's commandment? Now it came to pass, when they spake daily unto him, and he hearkened not unto them, that they told Haman to see whether Mordecai's matters would stand, for he had told them that he was a Jew. So how many times did they speak to him? So, wie oft haben sie mit ihm gesprochen? Daily, right? Daily. So, there's a time between when Haman was set up, and when they eventually reported him. So, es gibt eine Zeit, wo Haman so um, befördert würde, bis zu dem Punkt, wo sie ihm gemeldet haben. So, image is set up, Haman is set up. So, der Standbild wird hier aufgerichtet, hier ist Haman befördert oder aufgestellt. Okay, and they speak daily here. Und daily. hier sprechen sie zu Mordecai täglich. Okay, and where else do we have a story, I think you mentioned it already. Und wo noch haben wir eine Geschichte? Ich glaube, jemand hat das bereits yeah. erwähnt. Where somebody is daily tempted. Joseph. Yes, Joseph, ja, right? Wenn jemand täglich versucht werde, das ist okay. die Geschichte von Joseph. So let's go there. Lass uns da hin. Let's go to um, Genesis 39. Und das ist in 1. Buch Mose 39. And if you have your finger still in Esther, then please keep it there. Okay. Und wenn du deinen Platz noch in Esther hast, dann behalte es da. Okay. So, verse 10. Das ist 
erste Buch Mose 39, Vers 10. Oh, actually, we can begin in verse 7. Oder wir fangen sogar in Vers 7 an. It says, And it came to pass, after these things, that his master's wife cast her eyes upon Joseph, and she said, Lie with me. But he refused, and said unto his master's wife, Behold, my master wotteth not what is with me in the house, and he hath committed all that he hath to my hand. There is none greater in this house than I, neither hath he kept back anything from me but thee, because thou art his wife. How then can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? So this woman is this strange woman of Proverbs 7, right? Bis Vers 9. Und diese Frau hier ist diese fremde Frau oder diese merkwürdige Frau von Sprüche 7. But she is also this king's meat in Daniel chapter 1, right? Aber sie ist auch diese königliche Speise in Daniel Kapitel 1. And because a woman is a false doctrine, right? Weil eine Frau ist eine falsche Lehre. But in the Sunday law is a false doctrine. Und right? der Sonntagsgesetz ist eben eine falsche Lehre. So if you accept this false doctrine and obey it, you will fall. Und wenn du diese falsche Lehre annimmst und sie gehorcht, dann wirst du fallen. And you will do this great wickedness and will sin against God. Du wirst diese große Bösheit tun und gegen Gott sündigen. So she starts here therefore. Okay. So sie fängt hier an. So Potiphar's wife. Das ist die Frau von Potiphar. And now let's uh, see in verse 10. And let's in verse 10 listen. And it came to pass, as she spake to Joseph day by day, that he hearkened not unto her to lie by her or to be with her. So how many times did she speak to her? So wie oft hat er mit ihm gesprochen, äh, sie mit ihm gesprochen? Yeah. Day after day, right? Ta tag nach Tag. Okay, and eventually it came to the point where... She grabbed him and he fled away, right? Und letztendlich kam es zu dem Punkt, wo sie ihm äh, ange also ergriffen hat und er ist davon gerannt. And what was the result? Und was war der Resultat? Verse 20. Verse 20. Yes. And Joseph's master took him. Naked. Yes, he's naked. And he's verse, naked. Verse 20. And Joseph's master took him and put him into the prison, a place where the king's prisoners were bound. And he was there in the prison. So he's now being cast into prison here, so right? wird hier ins Gefängnis geworfen. And also, Bruder Mark mentioned, you know, what did she take away from him? Und Bruder Mark, wie er gewähnt hat, was hat die Frau von Potiphar den Josef entnommen, oder weggenommen? His garment. Seine right. Gewand. So, and he accused him falsely, right? Sie hat ihm falsch angeklagt. Yes. Yes. Like yes. Das markiert der Punkt, wo du nackt und bloß dargelegt wirst. So here you, you cry day and night because of what? So hier rufst du Tag und Nacht wegen was? Yeah, because Satan accuses you day and night. Right? Satan klagt dich Tag und Nacht an. Okay, so he put you into prison and you, you need to get delivered from this. Okay. Ja, hat dir ins Gefängnis gelegt und du brauchst davon befreien. Okay, so now let's go back to Daniel 3. So jetzt gehen wir zurück zu Daniel 3. You want to keep the place in Esther. Ah, yeah, Esther. Right, so we're going to Esther. Let's go back to Esther 3 first. Esther, chapter 3. Esther 3. Esther 3. So here, just mark it now. Joseph. So here, mark it now. Joseph. Cast. We are in the prison. So, and here in verse 4, we saw that they also reported uh, no Mordecai. Okay. And here we have seen in verse 4 that they also the Mordecai. Melden. And verse 5. Verse 5 yet. And when Haman saw that Mordecai bowed not nor did him reverence, then was Haman full of wrath. Okay, so the king, the state power here. Also the Staatsmacht here. In this case, Haman. It's full of wrath. It's full des Zorns. <coughs> okay. And what is he now doing? And what tut er jetzt? Verse 6. Verse 6. And he thought scorn to lay hands on Mordecai alone, for they had showed him the people of Mordecai, wherefore Haman sought to destroy all the Jews 
that were throughout the whole kingdom of Ahasuerus, even the people of Mordecai. So now he wants to put them to death. Right? So now this death decree is coming against God's people. So jetzt kommt diese Todesdekret gegen Gottes Volk an. Okay, let's go back to Daniel 3. So jetzt gehen wir zu Daniel 3 zurück. Vers 8 again. Vers 8 wieder. It says, Wherefore, at that time certain Chaldeans came near and accused the Jews. They spake and said to the king Nebuchadnezzar, O king, live forever. So, therefore, where are we now on the line? Vers 9. Wo sind wir auf der Linie? So they get now reported. Right? After they didn't bow down line upon line daily they didn't bow down right? so so wie sie tag für tag in diese zeit nicht niedergebeugt haben line upon line you can see this so yeah. linie auf linie kannst du sehen dass die seine zeit ist. i mean literally in this literal his the story the there was no day after day they didn't bow down but when you bring thing, all things together you can see it's a time period also in diese geschichte von daniel du kannst diese zeitperiode nicht erkennen aber wenn du linie auf linie zusammenbringst dann kannst du eben erkennen dass es eine zeitperiode ist Okay, now verse 10. Vers 10. Thou, O king, hast made a decree that every man that shall hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sakbat, psalty, and dulcima, and all kinds of music shall fall down and worship the golden image. So what are they now doing? So what do they now Reminding the king. Yeah, they're reminding the king and they point him to where? So they remind the king and weisen him where he yeah, they, so they stand here now and they point back and say, looking, you, you made this decree at the beginning, right? So, sie stehen hier und sie weisen zurück. Schau mal, du hast diesen Dekret hier am Anfang aufgestellt. Okay. So, <coughs> verse 11. Vers 11. And whoso falleth not down and worshipeth, that he should be cast into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. There are certain Jews whom thou hast set over the affairs of the princes, province, uh, province of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These men... O king, have not regarded thee. They have not served thy gods, nor worshipped the golden image which thou hast set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar, in his rage and fury, commanded to bring Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Then they brought these men before the king. So how was Nebuchadnezzar? Was <laughs> verse 13. Also, wie war Nebuchadnezzar? He was full of fury and rage, right? Voller Wut und Zorn. Okay. And um, just keep your finger here. Let's go to Daniel six quickly. So, halt den Platz hier und geht rüber zu Daniel six. Because in Daniel six they also make a Sunday law decree. Right? In Daniel six, they make auch ein Sonntagsgesetz decree. And they say basically thirty days you shall worship no other god. Und okay. sie sagen 30 Tage lang sollst du keinen anderen Gott anbeten. Okay, and now, but Daniel, he prays three times per day. Right? But Daniel erbetet diese drei Mal am Tag. Would be these three steps leading you down also to the midnight cry. Right? Diese drei Schritte, die führen auch zur Mitternachtsruf. I mean, even, this is the second Sunday law, but it's just the same pattern. Also, dies ist der zweite Sonntagsgesetz, aber es ist dasselbe Muster. Okay, and now, um, let's go to verse 11. Daniel 6, Vers 11. 11 and 12. Verse 11 and 12. It says, Then these men assembled and found Daniel praying and making supplication before his God. Then they came near and spake before the king concerning the king's decree. Hast thou not signed a decree that every man that shall ask a petition of any God or man within 30 days, save of thee, O king, shall be cast into the den of lions? The king answered and said, The thing is true. According to the law of the Medes and Persians, which altereth not. So what do they do? What do they do here? The same as they did in Daniel 3. So was tun sie hier, was dasselbe ist wie in Daniel 3? Yeah, they also report him here. So sie melden ihn hier. After he prayed three times. So nachdem er diesen dreimal gebetet hat. And they also now report, uh, reminded, remind the king now of the decree he made at the beginning, right? So therefore this decree that is already put in place at the beginning, this will be then used 
to come against you. So this decree that here at the beginning was put in place will be used to bring you against me. Okay. So now let's go back to Daniel. Gehen wir zurück zu Daniel 3. So let's mark it down here, King. König werde erinnert an den Todesdekret, die er am Anfang aufgestellt hat. Um, implemented? Is right word, no? Or is it? No. Or is it? Be implemented. Um, be, uh, put in place. So Daniel 3 verse 13 we saw that he's now here angry. So Daniel 3 verse 13 haben wir gesehen hier dass er hier zornig ist. Now verse 14. Jetzt vers 14. Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto them is it true or Shadrach Meshach and Abednego do not ye serve my gods nor worship the golden image which I have set up. Now if ye be ready that at what time ye hear the sound of the cornet flute harp, sackbut, psaltery, and dulcimer, and all kinds of music, ye fall down and worship the image which I have made well. But if ye worship not, ye shall be cast the same hour into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. And who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hands? Okay, so what is the state power granting you now? So, was gewährt dir der Staatsmacht hier in Vers 15? Opportunity. Opportunity to do what? Yes. Möglichkeit, deine Meinung zu ändern. Okay. So, King provides to recant. Uh, this is also what always the Catholics did, right? When they made the stake, said recant. Das ist das, was die Katholiken immer gemacht haben, wenn sie den Scheiterhaufen aufgebaut haben. Sie haben gesagt, widerrufe, widerrufe dein Glaube. Yes. Okay. Verse 16. Vers 16. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so. Our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury, and the form of his visage was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he spake and commanded that they should be heat the furnace one seven times more than it was wont to be heated. So how is Nebuchadnezzar now? So wie ist Nebuchadnezzar jetzt now? Full of fury, right? Es voll des Wuts. So here at the beginning he's he's furious. So here am Anfang ist er wütend. And just imagine Donald Trump being angry at you. Okay. Kannst du dir noch vorstellen, Donald Trump wie er wütend wird? Yeah. And then he gets full of fury. Okay. Und hier ist er voll des Wuts. Okay. So this would be then this point here, the beginning of the. Final test, the final test. Anfang vom finalen Test hier. And why is he full of fury? Warum ist er voll des Wuts? Yeah, because they made the the final confession, right? Weil sie diese letzte Bekenntnis abgelegt haben. And this is what what Jesus requires of us. Das ist, was Jesus von uns verlangt. So just remind ourselves, keep your finger here, let's go to Matthew chapter 10. Halte den Platz hier und zur Erinnerung geht zu Matthäus 10. Let's read 
Let's read verse 17 and 18. Verse 17 and 18. Says, but beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils, and they will scourge you in the synagogues, and ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. Okay, so uh, when they deliver you up, so when they dich um, it's a testimony. Es ist ein okay. And then in verse 32. Dann in Vers 32 and 33. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before man, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before man, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. Okay. So, this, this final confession, yeah. so here in this time that the king grants you, he gives you time to basically recant. Okay. So here diese Zeit, der König gewährt dir Zeit, dein Glaubensbekenntnis zu widerrufen. Yeah, but at the same time you need cry day and night for deliverance. Zur okay. selben Zeit musst du Tag und Nacht beten oder rufen für Befreiung. And what is the, what will deliver you? Und was ist es, was dich befreien wird? The voice of God. Voice of God. Yes, okay. Yeah, but yes. yes, it's the revelation. Okay. The revelation is basically then the voice of God that we will proclaim here. Offenbarung, das ist eben die Stimme des Herrn, die wir hier könnt geben werden. But it's this revelation that will deliver you, and you will see this. Okay. Aber es ist die Offenbarung, der dich befreien werden, wir werden das sehen. And Daniel two, it was the revelation of the secret that delivered him, right? Daniel two, es war die Offenbarung des Geheimnisses, die ihn befreit hat. Okay, let's go back to Daniel three. So zurück zu Daniel drei. How many times hotter was the furnace? Seven times. Okay. Viel mal ist das Feuerofen erhitzt worden? Siebenfach. Okay. So now let's uh, go to verse 20. Jetzt Vers 20. And he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego and to cast them into the burning fiery furnace. Then these men were bound in their coats, their hosen and their heads and their other garments and were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. So, what do they now face? So, gegen was kommen sie an? Yeah, they face now instant death, so right? Sie stehen dem Tod gegenüber. Because it says here, uh, it says here let's go, continue. Therefore, weiter. because the king's commandment was urgent and the furnace exceeding hot, the flame of the fire slew those men that took up Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. So, the others die immediately. So right? diese anderen kommen sofort dabei um. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, fell down bound into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Then Nebuchadnezzar, the king, was astonished and rose up in haste and spake and said unto the, his counselors, Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt, and the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Okay, how does Nebuchadnezzar rise up? So, in verse 24. Nebuchadnezzar mm -hmm. auf in verse 24. In Eile steht uh, What did we read yesterday in Daniel 2, when Daniel received the revelation? Was haben wir gesehen gestern in Daniel 2, als Daniel die Offenbarung How was he brought before the king? Wie ist er vor dem König gebracht? In haste, in right? Eile. What about Joseph? Wie, wie ist es mit Joseph? brought in haste out of the dungeon before the king, right? So this is now this haste here. Okay. And Nebuchadnezzar, he sees Christ with the three Hebrew boys. And when Christ came into this fiery furnace, this is when he Deliver them. Right? Es war genau hier, wo er sie befreit. Okay, so now let's read the next quote that I will post now here in the in the group. So, es kommt noch ein Zitat jetzt in der Gruppe zu uns, und das wollen wir jetzt lesen. And I just in the same post as one time the English, one time the German. Und English is first, and das Deutsche gleich danach. Okay. It says. But the Lord did not forget his own, as his witnesses were cast into the furnace, 
the Savior revealed himself to them in person, and together they walked in the midst of the fire. In the presence of the Lord of heat and cold, the flames lost their power to consume. So what happened when they were in the fire? So was geschah, als sie im Feuer waren? Christ revealed himself to them. Okay. So it's the revelation. Right? So the revelation is this fiery furnace. So okay. the offenbarung is this feurige Feuerofen. Okay, and when we go now to uh, just keep your finger Daniel, let's go to Malachi. So, halte den Platz hier in Daniel und geht zu Malachi. Chapter 3. Kapitel 3. Let's begin in verse 1. Wir fangen Vers 1 an. Yes. Malachi 3, verse 1. It says, Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me. And the Lord whom ye seek shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant, whom ye delight in. Behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts. So who's coming here to his temple? So where comes here to his temple? Christ. Christ, right? Christus. And how? So, wie? Suddenly. Plötzlich. Right? How was the veil lifted up for Isaiah? So wie ist diesen Vorhang für Jesaja entfernt worden? Suddenly, right? Plötzlich. How was the revelation given to Paul? So wie ist der Offenbarung Paulus gegeben worden? Suddenly, Plötzlich. right at midnight. Am right? Mitternacht. Okay. So it just marks here that the suddenly he comes suddenly to his temple here, right? Das markiert nur diese plötzlich, wie er plötzlich zu seinem Tempel hier kommt. And how was this fulfilled historically? Und right. wie ist dies historisch erfüllt worden? Oh, October 22nd, that's what it's right? Oktober, yeah. sagt er. And when he came suddenly to his temple, what work did he start? Wenn er plötzlich zu seinem Tempel kam, welche Werk begann er? The investigative judgment. Right? So it's this investigative judgment of the living man here. Okay. Hier ist das Untersuchungsgericht an den Lebendigen hier. Mm. So when he comes here, so here comes er plötzlich. Not so good space. Twice. Okay, verse 2. Und jetzt Vers 2. But, but who may abide the day of his coming, and who shall stand when he appeareth? So what does he he appears to you now, right? Was ist das? Er erscheint dich hier. It's the revelation. It's the offenbarung. For he is like a fine, refiner's fire and like a fuller soap, and he shall sit as a refiner and purifier of silver, and he shall purify the sons of Levi and purge them as gold and silver, that they may offer unto the Lord an offering in righteousness. Then shall the offering of Judah and Jerusalem be pleasant unto the Lord as in the days of old, as in former years. Okay, so what is he doing here when he comes suddenly to his temple? Vers 4. Also, was tut er hier, wenn er plötzlich zu seinem Tempel ankommt? Yes, he, he's, yes, he's this refiner with fire, right? So, er ist dieser Läuterer mit Feuer. Yeah, so he casts you into the fiery furnace so, to burn out all the rest of your schlacken, how do you call it again? Dross. Yeah. Dross, yes. So er werft dich ins Feuerofen, um die ganzen Schlacke aus dir herauszubrennen. And at the end, what can you do now? Und am Ende, was kannst du jetzt tun? Offer an offering in righteousness, du right? Yes. Ein um, Opfer in Gerechtigkeit darbringen. So and what is the offering in righteousness that was ist diese, you are to offer? Opfergabe in Gerechtigkeit, die du darbringen sollst. Yes, broken and contrite heart, right? Ein gebrochenes und reumütiges Herz. So this is what uh, the Lord wants. Das ist, was der Herr möchte. And what leads you to have a broken, contrite heart? Und was führt dich, ein gebrochenes und reumütiges Herz zu haben? The contrast, yes. Yeah, if you see the contrast, if you see... Behold the Lamb that taketh away the sin of the world, right? Du siehst diesen Kontrast. Siehe der Lamm Gottes, der die Sünde der Welt wegnimmt. It's the revelation, it's the Christ on the cross. Das right? ist die Offenbarung, es ist Christus am Kreuz. Okay. <coughs> And what did in Zechariah chapter 3? In Zechariah chapter 3. What does Jesus say here at the end when he rebukes Satan? Was sagt Sa uh, Jesus hier am Ende, wenn er Satan tadelt? Let's go to Zechariah 3 verse 2. Let's go to Zechariah 3 verse 2.
And the Lord said unto Satan, The Lord rebuke thee, O Satan. Even the Lord that hath chosen Jerusalem rebuke thee. Is not this a brand plucked out of the fire? Okay, so the three Hebrew boys, they are this brand plucked out of the fire. Okay. Die drei Hebräer Jungs sind diesen Brandscheid, die aus dem Feuer herausgegriffen worden sind. So when he rebukes here Satan at the end, it's or the end of the investigative judgment, and he, it's not plucking you out. So when hmm. Satan here am Ende tadelt, das ist das Ende vom Untersuchungsgericht, und er greift dich aus dem Feuer heraus. Okay. When we go back to Daniel chapter 3. Zurück zu Daniel 3. So we can see basically, uh, therefore what will deliver us is this revelation. Okay. So it's Christ, it's seeing Christ on the cross, it's the only answer, she says the word says, right? eben Christus am Kreuz zu sehen, das ist der einzige Antwort, wie Ellen White uns sagt. And because all the calamities come upon us because of our sin problem. Okay. Denn all diese Trübsal kommt über uns wegen unserer Sünden. And, and the Lord permits this in order to... Save us from our sins. Okay. Und der Herr erlaubt dies, so dass er uns von unseren Sünden erretten möge. Uh, that he can bring us to this revelation. Dass er uns zu dieser Offenbarung bringen kann. Okay. So, now let's go to verse 26 and we will now come to a close. So, jetzt Vers 26 in Daniel 3 und wir werden langsam zu einem Schluss kommen. So, yes, then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fiery furnace and spake and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, ye servants of the Most High, come forth and come hither. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth out of the midst of the fire. Where else do we see this come forth? So, wo sehen wir dieses noch? Kommt heraus. Kommt Yes. yes. Kommt but, fort, but kommt come heraus. forth. It's come hither is in Revelation 11, right? With the two witnesses. Kommt herauf, das ist in Offenbarung 11. Give your finger here. John 11. Yes. Okay. Johannes 11. Johannes Kapitel 11. John 11. This was 43 to 44. Verse 43, 44. It says, And when he thus had spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And he that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot with great clothes, and his face was bound, uh, bound about with a napkin. Jesus saith unto them, Loose him and let him go. Okay, so when he said, Come forth, what ha happened to Lazarus? And as I kommt heraus, was geschah mit Lazarus? He was loosed. Er ist losgebunden. And he was. Resurrected, right? Er war, um, so er it's, it's the resurrection, okay? Es ist der so der at Auferweckung. the end of this fiery furnace experience, you receive the resurrection. Which is the new birth, right? Das, das eben ist. Uh, because Christ revealed himself to you in the fiery furnace. Right? Hat sich dir im And this revelation leads you to him. To the resurrection of new birth. Und diese Offenbarung führt dich zur Auferstehung, das Neugeburt. Amen. Amen. Okay. Come forth. Kommt heraus. It's the resurrection. Ist der Auferstehung. Okay. Very good. So let's go back to Daniel 3. So zurück zu Daniel 3. Verse 27. Vers 27. And the princes, governors, and captains, and the king's counselors, being gathered together, saw these men upon whose bodies the fire had no power, nor was the hair of their head singed, neither were their coats changed, nor the smell of fire had passed on them. Uh, Luke 21, we have the promise, not a hair of your head shall perish. Right? Then Nebuchadnezzar spake and said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who hath sent his angel and delivered his servants that trusted in him, and have changed the king's word, and yielded their bodies that they might not serve nor worship any god except their own god. So they are now delivered. Right? Therefore I make a decree that every people, nations and language which speak anything amiss against the god of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego shall be cut in pieces, and their houses shall be made dunghill, 
because there is no other god that can deliver after this sword. Then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego in the province of Babylon. So what happened to them? So what's the show with him? They were exalted. Huh? Like Daniel, like Joseph. Okay. okay. And he also makes a counter decree, right? And this will eventually then lead you to the time of peace. Und das wird letztendlich zur Zeit des Friedens führen. Okay. So this would be then here as a counter. Okay, so has everybody now a better understanding of Daniel 3? So, has jeder ein besseres Verständnis von Daniel 3? Okay, praise God. Praise the Lord. Then, um, any questions left? So, has anyone a question? I have posted a quote, but it's not a question, but I think this is what you mentioned before. Also ich habe ein Zitat gepostet, das war keine Frage, aber ich glaube, das ist, was du vorher erwähnt hast. Ah, oh, yes, yes. That's, that she gives the, the height. So wie die Höhe des Standbildes gibt. Okay, but we can calculate it for ourselves. Aber wir können okay. das nachher für uns selbst but ausrechnen. Thanks for posting. Okay, so then I hope everybody... Understands now things better. So, I hope that everyone better understands. I would say, then let's close with our prayer. Then I would recommend that we close with the prayer. Amen.